Hi, my name is Brian Ding with Olympus Controls, and today I'm going to be going over the basics of Plug and Drive Studio 3 with you. In this demo, I have a PD4C motor with an integrated drive hooked up to a Toyo GTH5 actuator with their limit switches, the T64P2 and a pulse dimension CP20 power supply, that's 24 volts. Once your motor and drive have power, you're going to need a micro USB cable to plug into your computer to start programming. In Plug and Drive Studio 3, you're going to have this menu over here showing that you're connected to USB and you're going to connect to that adapter. Now that you're connected, you're going to want to scan devices and your motor drive should show up. These icons on the left side will turn green with a check mark on them to show that you are connected. I'm going to connect to the system I made earlier and hit this connect button on the right and it will turn green as well. I'm running firmware version 2213. To add a module, you're going to right click your system and select add module. I've created one earlier called jog by five millimeters. So I'm going to select that one. Now you see these tabs, initialization, jogging and parameters. I created those earlier by clicking this drop down and adding controls groups. Through a control group, you can add parameters and special controls, which I will get into shortly. Starting with my initialization tab, I have auto setup and firmware update as my options. So to add those in, I added special controls. And using this list, you can select auto setup and add that. And one more time, for the firmware update. Now, auto setup is a one button press to auto tune your motor. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. Now, a firmware update, if you are running an older firmware, you can download it from the Nanotech website and select a file to load from your computer. In the jogging control group, I added special controls, motion test. Now I have the option to jog my motor using absolute position, relative position, velocity, and torque. Currently, it's at zero position because it's at home. And I've created two steps to move by one rotation forward and one rotation backwards. One revolution equals 4,096 encoder counts for this motor. So I can click run and it should move one count, one rotation which is five millimeters. And if I go backwards, it should move the same amount backwards. Now in our jogging control group, we have the motion test special control, which can be added through this menu, adding special controls and motion test. You can control the motor with absolute position, relative position, velocity, and torque. For this demo, I've selected relative position. 
and I will be moving one rotation either forward or backwards with the press of a play button. And you can see in the video feed below. Before we get any further, I'm going to show you how to configure and monitor your limit and home. I'm going to go to the monitoring tab on the right side and select add. Now under new monitor, nothing's there yet. So we need to add a group and within this group, add a parameter. To find this, all I did was type input and go to my digital inputs and hit next. Since I don't need all to monitor all eight of my digital inputs, I'm going to select one. And you can copy and paste this. So you have one monitor for home and one for each limit. Now, in properties, you're going to want to have bit zero monitored. Bit one monitored. And bit two monitored. You see bit two's lit up because the, uh, the actuator is currently at home. And everything can be renamed through the properties menu as well in the description box. So once you have it set up, it'll look like this. If you're following along with me, you may notice that your switches and home are not lighting up when triggered and that's because they may not be activated yet. So we're going to go to our console and let me pull up the manual. Digital input section and we have negative, positive, and home in inputs one, two, and three. So for object 3240 colon 01, that is our special function enable. We're going to need to enable bit 0, 1, and 2. We aren't using an interlock, so we aren't going to worry about bit 3 for now. Now in binary, 111 is equal to 7. So we're going to need to set 3240 colon 01 to 7. 3240 colon 01 equals 7. And now you should be monitoring 0, 1, and 2. Now I'm going to set the behavior of the limit switch when triggered. In the manual, I'm going to go to section 5.4, limitation of the range of motion. <clears throat> now, in object 3701, you are going to define how the system behaves when a limit switch is triggered. Factory default is negative one, no reaction, meaning that the system will ignore the limit switch and you will be able to move past it. Now in my parameter control group, I'm going to add a parameter and type in 3701. And hit next 
And for this one, I want to be able to select which one I want. So I will select drop down control. And it adds a line down here. And under properties, you can edit this list of combo box items. And say negative one is the default. I also want to add two and five. And you're going to have to fill out the descriptions yourself in the text boxes. So these are associated with the values of 3701 in the manual. Now for my system, I have selected slow down quick stop mode, which means it will come to a controlled stop and not allow you to jog the actuator past the limit switch any further. If you want to switch your parameter, you select your option and hit this upload button and you'll see it change here. Uh, you have to make sure you are showing cur current values. This box will be yellow if the parameter is different than what is current. And once you upload it, it will turn back to white. So how do you go home? I'm going to refer to the manual again. And this time I'm in section 6.5, home In the overview, it says you must set the value six in object 6060, which is modes of operation. Normally in this system, I'm going to be in profile position mode, but to go home, I need to change it to homing mode, six. And if you read a little further, says the following bits in object 6040 have a special function. Bit 4 needs to be turned on or set to 1 for referencing to start. And it will continue to reference or home until the position is reached or until this bit is set back to 0. Now I'm going to create those parameters. 6060 modes of operation and create another drop down control. And add parameter 6040 control word. For this one, because it's only on or off, I'm going to select bit control. Now, I've already created these, so under Modes of Operation, we're going to go to the Properties and select Edit List. I have 1 and 6, Profile Position or Homing. And for Object 6040, bit number 4, it's going to only be true or false. So I've labeled these as go home when enabled and wait when enabled. Now I'm going to refer back to the manual. And we're going to scroll down a little further into the home section and look at these object entries. There are several different parameters you're going to have to set using the console in Plug and Drive Studio 3 before you can home. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to be going over the homing method with you. Object 6098. Go down a little further, and as you can see, there are over 60 different methods you can home with. I'll spare you reading through every single one, but for this case, I have selected method 29, which will move in the negative direction past the reference switch 
and then slowly jog positive after clearing the reference switch. And I will show you that now. I've added the parameter 6098 to my list of parameters homing method. And it's a drop down. And this one auto populates, so it makes it nice and easy for you. If you click edit list, you'll see every single method available. Now I'll go over a quick example of what homing looks like. I'm going to open my jogging control back up and I'll make this a little bit quicker to save some time. Now you'll notice I'm in homing mode right now. If I click to play on the jog, it will automatically change to profile position mode. So now I'm past the home limit switch and moving in increments of five millimeters towards the positive switch. And you'll notice I hit the limit switch and now the positive limit switch input is lit up. This will prevent me from jogging past the limit switch in the positive direction. And I will have to jog backwards in the negative direction to clear it. This goes the same in the opposite direction for the negative limit switch. Now I'm in profile position mode still, so I need to change it to homing mode to send it home. and you must make sure the go home when enabled is flipped to true. Now you'll see it go past the home switch and then slowly inch back towards the home switch until it's just triggered and set that current position at zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. Once again, this is Brian with Olympus Controls I'm based in the Fremont, California office. Please reach out anytime if you have any questions. Thank you.